So this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Today I'm making a Rustic 7.0 generator. I'm actually live right now and uh, what I've done is pulled up the actual PBC. All right, I have went to the forums and right here there's a link right there, all right, the PBC link, that one. And I've downloaded it. I've also downloaded Express PBC from expresspbc.com. All right, that's also on the forums here. That's uh, open-source-energy.org, and it's the Rustic. Okay. And then I've downloaded it. I've selected it. And then what I did is you have to have a laser jet toner printer to get this to work. And uh, Kevin has figured out that if you use a photo paper of some sort, I think he said the doll works better, or, the, or yeah, I think he said the doll works better, I'm not sure. Um, I've used shiny magazines before, if you didn't want to get photo paper, but here's what I've done. I've run this paper through the machine, you can see I've printed it back here, and I've taken this photo paper, and I've laid it over the top, alright, and then I've run it back through the machine. And so now I have this removable piece of uh, paper that has my circuit board etch on it. Okay. Um, there's the other one. Now this this is not quite big enough. Uh, you can see right here that cut off a little bit. And what I'm going to do is take some fingernail polish and mark those few spots. If you got a full sheet paper. Uh, if you got a full sheet of photo paper, you, you'd be better off, but I didn't have it, so I'm using what I got. And uh, I'll show you what's next. Alright guys, so, um, and girls, what I've done is taken that paper cut out that I had, and I uh, got the size dimensions that I want here. And I went ahead and took this copper clad board, okay, this is a copper clad board, if you Google it, you'll find it. And I've scarred it with my knife. And then I'm just gonna hopefully just break it off. Like that. And then I'll go back and take the Dremel and kind of buzz the edge there, but seem to work okay. Not too bad. You could cut this stuff, but it's kind of nasty since it is fiberglass. So I'm gonna clean up that edge and then we'll see what's next. Alright, now. Since I've cut this off, worked pretty well, I have uh, got a few fingerprints on here. And personally, I like to take a little bit of emery cloth or sandpaper. And uh, this isn't really fine enough. Okay, I got just a little bit thinner stuff. I'm just kind of hitting it. This stuff's really clean. Normally, the stuff I use is really dirty. Okay, I'll keep it as that, uh, works for me, and then I'm going to take this photo paper, and I've got the rustic on here, this is all printed inverted, you can't see anything, alright, I'm going to place this on here where I want it. I like that. And uh, if you get this too hot, you'll actually uh, melt the toner and it'll bubble out and it'll, it won't work right. So what you want to do is you want to get real hot. You want to just keep it on here for a while. I'm going to kind of move it around. Make sure it doesn't stick like it just did. Okay. So I've... Uh, went ahead and put this down so I wouldn't melt the plastic which you can see I already did now this is really really hot I got this pretty hot I mean I'm, I'm having a hard time holding it um, I'm gonna let this cool before I go trying to peel it off but I did kinda test the edges um, and it looks like I need to get it a little bit hotter but you can see you can see where it's coming off it looks really really good okay so you can see that that actually worked pretty darn well except for some of these spots um, just for some reason didn't catch 
And I think part of that was because I didn't get it hot enough. You can see how some of the corners and the edges aren't sticking. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sand this all back off. And I'm going to take that second one I printed and, uh, and we'll do it again. Alright, we'll try this again. I've made sure it's cleaned off really well. I do not recommend doing that more than once because you'll start sanding this copper too thin and uh, and that's bad so just informing you and I think what actually happened was the fact that um, this um, whole thing basically what happened was this whole thing got hot enough curled the edges and then my heat didn't get evenly spread across this thing so we'll do it again here I'll be back all right, so I've done this a second time, and I've actually done it enough to where I melted the uh, about every place you can see. I've got a small contact point where I've melted the paper into the back of the plastic, and I did go ahead and let this cool. I think that's a good, wise choice, and uh, hopefully we've got all good contact points here. Now I do recommend that if you're going to do this with like a magazine, I do recommend to let it sit in some water and dissolve. I'll take that. Oh, look at that, I had a piece of dirt underneath that one point. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't uh, transfer correctly. So, definitely not as good as um, Kevin's but it's not bad. And then all these pieces that you've missed, anything that didn't turn out that you're okay with uh, fixing, you can actually take fingernail polish and you can mark over there with fingernail polish and then it will actually not eat that. Now what you need to do is go get some etching solution. I buy mine at Radio Shack. Um, you can get them at Radio Shack and basically I'll show you the next step. It'll be another day. I don't have any. So, see you soon.